Hello everyone and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today I'm taking a look at the Giulio Cesare and I'm terribly sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. Now it's a pretty nice ship, it's currently in testing, it's a work in progress. So anything you see here is subject to change. Now I'm on the map Solomon Islands in a standard battle. And well there are five destroyers per team so that's gonna be fun. Now I've played this ship a little bit yesterday on stream and I've got some first impressions for you. But don't take this the wrong way, this is not a review and I'm fully expecting this ship to change because currently it is just a bit too good. And what's too good about this ship is mostly the dispersion. And you will see examples of this in this battle. Now I might have also gotten a little bit lucky here, but it's almost like a cruiser. And well, this salvo didn't do so well, but now we have a destroyer coming here. Let's see how my guns perform against that poor little destroyer. So 10 shells on the way, 4 weapons, he is gone. Now this ship is armed with 320mm guns, you have 10 of those. So while it's not the highest caliber, uh, 10 guns is quite nice. And it's just the accuracy of those shells, you will hit a lot of them. The high explosive performance is nice, the damage of the shells themselves isn't so high, but you have a 35% chance to set a fire. And with so many shells hitting, you are a pretty good fire starter. So basically, they have to do something about the guns of this ship. Now you can see poor little destroyer, and I got five hits, two pens, three overpens. And this ship is just too good in taking out destroyers and cruisers because of the accuracy. It's also pretty okay against battleships. If you're facing higher tiers, you might want to go for some high explosive. But overall, it's just... Yeah, the guns are too good. You have a range of 16.4 kilometers, uh, which is quite okay for tier 5. The anti-air is pretty bad, as it's also common for tier 5 battleships. You don't have that many hit points for a battleship, so that's, I guess, kind of a weakness. The armor is okay-ish. And I'm giving a little bit too much broadside here. Towards the enemy, I suppose, but I mean, it's an Iron Duke and he's probably only shooting high explosive. As you see uh, happening a lot this day. Now, we can see a destroyer here. Uh, another two overpens. Now, that's not too exciting, I suppose, at this range. A lot of battleships could have done the same, but it's just too consistent with this ship. I mean, I haven't played that many battles yet. We only had this ship for like one day but uh, still yeah Chris needs tweaking other than that nothing too exciting to note you have your regular heals you have your damage control nothing special the secondaries are not performing that well either which is well I guess somewhat another weakness then again, it's not like other battleships at this tier have such amazing secondaries either. Now, concealment is pretty good. I have 13.3 kilometers here and I don't have concealment expert. With concealment expert, you could, you could get it to 11.4. The ship is also quite maneuverable and pretty fast with about 27 knots top speed. So it allows you to watch some torps and position yourself and the map react to things and uh, that's always pretty good now the overall battle here in the beginning i chose to go towards the left and well never really came to really pushing against the enemy we're just not in a position to do that i got stuck a little bit here in the middle shooting targets and there is a Königsberg coming and shells on the way nine overpens and one citadel so i hit every shell that i shot currently uh, hooray for me! 
So playing this ship has been a blast, but as I said, it's just a little bit too good. Now currently here I'm returning to defend. It's not looking so good for our team. We've lost a few more ships. And there is really no reason to push on their side. We want to clean up what's here on our side and then reconsider what we want to do next. Now this Orion is just sitting there giving me broadside and I will take full advantage of that. Six nice little penetrations on him. I'm also showing broadside to all those ships but the guns aren't pointing in my way. So there is that. And let's give that Orion another salvo. Now the Mina Castle was forced out of our cap. Our destroyers might have this under control, so not necessarily needed there to defend. But I assume that there might be a small group pushing through this channel. If we can intercept this group and deal with them, it would be very helpful. Because yeah, our our biggest problem is we just have a lot less ships, so if we can force smaller engagements, that might be helpful. Now Clemson at 15 kilometers and he's maneuvering, so I wouldn't expect an awful lot. I'm taking a wild guess where I think he is running. And let's see what happens. I get a penetration. So that was pretty lucky on my part, I have to admit. Ah, I saw we've lost another ship, I suppose. And now we really need the enemies to make mistakes. I mean, the enemies could just sit uh, on their side, wait for us to come to them. They win over time, but it's still a lot of time left to play. I guess they might not want to do that so i'm hoping that we can maybe sink a few ships here maybe fight a few of them in this channel and open up a push towards the enemy base and hey it's a destroyer and yeah well i mean he was pretty close i admit but that that dispersion was also very nice so, uh, his torpedoes, the ones he got off, were a miss. I was easily able to avoid them. This ship is, as I said, quite maneuverable. So that's good. I'm also at pretty high health still. So I'm probably the tip of the spear here. I will be the one taking the brunt of the enemy assault. And hopefully allowing my team to get a few nice shots off here behind me. So all of our ships are here together and that's awesome because we will have to work together if we want to win this. So I'm on fire but still have 4 heals left. Still pretty healthy so nothing to worry myself. Now it looks like there might be an enemy pushing around the left but currently I hope we can engage a few ships through this channel and another nice salvo at the Iron Duke. Who is once more showing way too much broadside, but you know, I mean, it's a low tier battle. I don't expect too much. Now, the armor of the Giulio Cesare is okay. I haven't been terribly impressed by it, but I also haven't been let down too much by it, I suppose. And I just haven't played enough games to properly evaluate it yet. Now here I'm showing way too much broadside and I get punished for it. I also got hit from both sides and I got almost deleted here. Uh, my fault, I would say. I was a bit overconfident here, I suppose, against the Orion. I wanted to use all my guns. And at least I should be able to deal with the Orion. Yeah, hopefully before he reloads. Ah, uh, not quite. So, probably should have angled a bit more towards him, but I really wanted to use my rear guns on him and I really wanted to sink him before it's too late, but... Too much of a risk I've taken, most likely. 
Now I will use this island as a cover and this part of the island is blocking vision. So right now I'm in concealment. Really should have picked concealment actually for this ship, but I don't really have a dedicated captain for Italian battleships. Who knew? Ah no, Italian battleships. Except this one right now. So I'm getting more broadsides because I guess the enemy is like showing it. And now my major issue is if those ships push further in they will spot me and if they spot me they can sink with one salvo. I still need about 20 seconds left for my heal so what I have to do here is reverse hope for the best. Also those ships here behind me they can't see me because this island. If those ships push too far I'm screwed. If those ships in front of me push too far I'm currently screwed. So I am gonna hide here until I can heal and then I'm gonna push into my side and you know what we are currently leading by one ship we are leading in points interestingly enough so yeah balls in their court now our v 170 will hopefully be able to get some torps into the congo now this is a situation where I should go for a high explosive because the Congo isn't showing me much broadside but I think that's going to solve itself with torpedoes so yeah that's great we are one ship ahead we are point twice ahead uh, there are still seven minutes to play but the enemy now has to make a move we can just safely sit here and let them come still have two heals left so with enough time I can recover more health. We are currently retreating and let's speed this up a tiny bit here. So I'm talking a lot about this battle, not so much about this ship. Keep in mind this is our first, it's our first impressions and mostly I just wanted to show you an awesome battle that happened in this ship. Since I expect this ship to change. Well, there might not be that much use into a full review anyway and i got a lot of hits but some shatters bounce a little bit of damage though i can heal once more and with this island i'm dropping out of concealment again now yeah this ship uh has some awesome strengths it's fast it's maneuverable it has awesome accuracy uh, not really too many weaknesses. Hit points are on the low side. Uh, Anti-air is bad, but that's it for most battleships at this tier. Secondaries aren't that great, but... I guess that's it for most battleships at this tier, so... Uh, yeah, this ship needs a little bit more tuning. It's so fun, it has been a blast to play. And mostly they just need to address the gun performance, which are, due to the accuracy, overperforming right now. Now it's a tier 5 ship, so it has tier 5 matchmaking, which is, well, pretty harsh. You aren't top tier very often. And hey, I see a broadside cruiser. Guess what's gonna happen. So, five overpants, but one citadel, and that's another one dealt with. Now I've recovered quite a bit of hit points, so I can most likely turn this around again and face the dukes, because one duke is going down shortly. Uh, this salvo should take care of him. Maybe even a teammate is faster than me. Uh, no. So, the six chip sunk right now. Yeah, I'm clubbing seals like a boss. It feels sort of unfair with this accuracy against cruisers and destroyers, I have to say. Now, anyway, only one enemy remaining. All that's left is to get him down. He is just sitting there. I mean, he is pretty well angled, so I could go for high explosive here. Might be a decent choice. But I'm a big fan of armor piercing in battleships, I suppose. And you know, got a nice little 10k hit here regardless. 
So yeah, but but in a situation like this, especially since nobody else is setting fires, you high explosive wall is might have been a good idea. But anyway, let's speed up the rest of it. Let's watch some more awesome dispersion rain down upon the Iron Duke. And well, uh, it's a good looking ship. It has a lot of potential. I'm interested in how Wargaming will change it because I'm pretty certain it will change in some way or form. And when there are some changes, I'll probably revisit this ship. Maybe I'll show you some more gameplay of it. Uh, this was just an awesome match I had yesterday that I really wanted to share. And here we are nearing the end. Uh, probably the last volley coming here. And there is my seventh kill. Now here we are with the results. I have 2,499 base experience in a tier 5 battle. And it was not even a domination game where you can farm cap experience. So yeah. I clapped some seals. I had a lot of luck here in this game. And uh, it was fun. I scored 160,000 points of damage. And yeah. Uh, chip a little bit too good. Not really any weaknesses. The guns are overperforming. Uh, we'll see what Wargaming does with it. I mean, they could just try to make her into a tier 6 ship. They could just try to readdress the guns, change the accuracy. So we will see what they have in store for it. I'm looking forward to whatever changes there are. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this battle. And I'll see you guys next time.